Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the morning after the finale edition. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's over. It was such a good show. Um, let's see who's calling in um, and tell us where you're calling in from. And um, tell us what your favorite flower is. Um, Russ, go. Hi, I'm Russ White. I'm the co-publisher of Q Life Magazine, calling in from Las Vegas. And my favorite flower is the iris. The iris. I only say flowers because of the rose petal situation. Um, Garrett. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Garrett, and I am calling in from Las Vegas, Nevada. My favorite flower is a bird of paradise. Okay. And next, please, Christopher. Hi, I'm Christopher Anthony Henry. I'm an actor, comic, and singer from New York City. And uh, my favorite flower is uh, the red rose in honor of Valentina's hero since she was uh, three years old, Selena. So um, that's my favorite flower. Get out of here, Selena. Uh, <laughs> Walter. Hi, um, I'm the dreaded and feared photographer, Walter Kurtz, coming to you from Don Kimir, the home of the chandelier. And my favorite flower is the tiger lily. Tiger Lily. Oh, like Peter Pan. And um, Michael Barbieri. Hi, I'm Michael Barbieri. I'm the dining and entertainment writer for Q Life magazine. I'm calling in from New York City, uh, right before Pride. Yay. Happy Pride. And, uh, and um, uh, my favorite flower is the pansy. Ah, yeah, it is. I'm so sad I'm missing Pride. Please send me pictures what of what you're um, Mark Finley, oh, Hello. in mid transformation. Hello, Hello. I'm Mark Finley calling in from Seattle, Washington, and putting on my face. <laughs> I'm in the midst of pride. Um, I, I was at four events last night. I'm at I'm I'm at events from after I finish this till five thirty in the morning, and then Shit. I get to wake up and lead the parade tomorrow. She and, works hard yeah. for the money, honey. Yeah. Hey, I'm having a Coco Montrese right now. My <laughs> favorite <laughs> flower is... Hey, knock it off. Kids, just because I don't have a wig on doesn't mean I can't slap you over the face. Um, uh, my favorite flower is a rhododendron, which is a Washington state flower. Because they can oh, get as big oh. as that house. Um, and I'm Alex Ringler calling from East Haddon, Connecticut at the Good Speed Opera House where I'm at my, uh, on my lunch break on rehearsals for Oklahoma. Come and see it. We open uh, July 13th. Um, but before we get started, I know we were all drinking last <laughs> night. Uh, Michael Barbieri, do you have a special cocktail for the winner for, or just for the finale in general? This is called the Strawberry Sashatini. Oh, Ooh. hey Sashatini. And because Sasha is no ordinary drag queen, it's actually made with blueberry vodka and okay. strawberry, uh, wild strawberry liqueur. Mm. That's amazing. What a berry, berry, berry drink. Um, okay, so the finale, it was a finale like we'd never seen before. This was, I, I really loved this format. We'll get into that. But what, what was your favorite look of all the queens who stepped out at, at the start. Let's start with Mama Mark Finley. Um, I'm sorry. I thought Sasha was, of course, on point because she was eclectic and odd and team to brand. But I have to say that Terry Mugler inspired gown that Trinity Taylor was wearing was amazing. And it also is my favorite color chartreuse. So I loved that. I thought she it looked like a space age insect or something. I really <laughs> love no, it. Yeah. She's very thin, very, very thin. Is she? Uh, like and I love, I love um, uh, 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 Cuckoo's uh, wig. Uh, Cuckoo's wig was so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It was a look we'd never yeah. seen from her before. I was yeah, like, oh, I know she, Cynthia Lee Fontaine. Cynthia Lee Fontaine, she, she is most, uh, what, what, what would she win? Most, uh, most improved, I think. <laughs> I think she should have been Miss Congeniality again, personally. Yes, but, well, um, she's the only one that was congenial, so, you yeah. know. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, Garrett, what was your favorite look? Uh, walking down the runway to, at the start. Um, well, when they all walked out, I was like, dang, they all look like the queens that could win. But I really liked Peppermint's look. I thought it was kind of cool with the whole back thing. Thing. I don't know. I thought Peppermint's look looked like her club kid look, but the green peppermint and like, you know, class. You know, it's like she was using cool. that club kid look and then like tightening it a little bit. 
I loved it. I, I like that too. Wes, what did you lack? Um, oh. I thought I left a can of tuna open because there was some fish going on last night. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, I love. I'll kill you for punning that much. <laughs> um, go ahead. I love Peppermint's look. I yeah. love Cuckoo's hair. Um, it was. It, everyone looked amazing. Um, uh, pheromones breastplate. Uh, yeah, I find that. I enjoy breastplate. It was very Terry Mugler too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Christopher yeah. Henry, um, uh, who was your favorite look? Favorite look, uh, definitely Sasha's. I loved that neck piece that she had on. I thought that was gorgeous. Um, that was nice. Lace. Was it? Yeah. And Trinity as well. Trinity gave a good strong look. Um, I loved uh, Peppermint's little tearaway thing. I thought that was really cute. But I mean, overall, it wasn't like the best look, I'd say. Um, yeah. And Sasha. I expect a little bit more from Sasha's look, personally, but um, for the finale, at least. Was it for the, her runway look the, with the blue? Yeah, I liked it. I just didn't like it as, as much as the, like, the rest. Everybody really popped. Like, that was, like, the look they really... I, I didn't like it except, as much. Except Shay. I thought Shay was very basic. Um, Walter, who was your favorite? Yeah, Shay was basic. That was... Yeah. Uh, no, the best thing was Cynthia's wig. It was I mean, so that's cool. the thing everybody's going to remember. It's like, that was Cynthia? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, she started walking out. I was like, who is... Oh, it's Cuckoo. What happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, looked, she looked at me, and it was so, like, it was her, but, like, you know, branching out a little bit. I like that. And uh, Barbieri, who was your favorite, Luke? I, I thought Peppermint's look uh, at the, you know, uh, of the final four, I thought Peppermint's look was very regal. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Um, Royal, but... Yeah. How can you not love Eureka with that yeah. giant elephant head? That was genius. And, and the hashtag with the purse first, I was like, hmm, paying, paying homage to the, the current queen. Oh and I kept thinking to myself, someone behind her, Madam, would you mind removing your chapeau? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, is, it, is it Charlie Hyde's new thing to always have Charlie somewhere on his body? Because we saw in the reunion, it was oh. in his hair. And then he had the, the necklace. So I was like, it's so people know is that who he is. Thing now? Branding. It's yeah. branding. Because he was forgettable. You don't need the branding. Trust me. He's not a cow. Hey, uh, <laughs> no, okay. Um, my favorite look, um, actually, well, I'm going to be a little, you know, pandering here. I really liked Rue's look tonight, uh, or last night. Really? I did, because I thought it was classic Rue. It was a little more yeah, like it was classic. soft. We've seen it before. That was the Yeah, thing but I like I said, I've seen that dress before in different fabric. True. What was the what was the design on there? Someone said, "Is is it like wheat? Like what?" It what looked was like somebody said? came on it and they tried to wipe it off. That's what it looks like. It's like hey, it's it happened. Like you yeah. I didn't like it at all. And okay. It was, like, I, I it was okay. like going. Okay, so then we get um, to the interviewing of the top four, and what do we think of Peppermint's interview? I thought she was engaging. Um, but there wasn't a lot of substance there. I, she was she was cracking her jokes and she was she was doing her shtick. But when you compare it to like you know, then we get this and then we get Sasha and it's like oh, it wasn't a super a lot of substance there. Um, what did you think, Christopher Henry? Uh, yeah, I agree with you. I think um, it was a very peppermint like speech. It was uh, funny. It was endearing. Um, I love the discussion of being a trans woman while. Uh, sure possibly being America's Next Drag Superstar. It was in that interview That's where we got the substance, but yeah. yeah. But I, who gave the most compelling speech again was uh, Sasha, except Shay obviously did have a incre an incredibly moving moment, which she was talking about. I that was that. I, I don't think, Yeah, I, was I, that, I didn't know anything the fact, about The that. fact that she did that whole season and her dad had died two days before she yeah. died. No, 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 you, you've misunderstood it. Everybody's misunderstanding what she said. She said his, her father died two days after the cast was announced. Was announced. Yeah, was yeah. announced. So. Announced to the world. Oh. So it happened. But even yeah. still, did she, considering the season was RuPaul's therapy race, do we remember her mentioning this at any point she throughout the Yeah, no. Oh. no. I don't think so. And they even had the cancer conversation. In right. The did, did you just miss what I said? 
No, no, we, we, we heard it. It's just they were all bringing up all their stuff from the season. Yeah, but he, he, was alive. he was alive then. He died after the cast was announced. Yeah, and she then had to do all of these appearances after that, okay. after the show was announced. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So after filming. That yes, just, yeah, after filming, when it was announced to the world. Oh, I thought the announcement before that. Okay. Yeah, no, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, when they were bringing up all their problems during the taping. Yeah, so wouldn't they, yeah. like, wouldn't he have still been struggling with cancer at that point? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Time, yeah, like, this was, he wouldn't necessarily have been dying. He could have been <laughs> sick, but he wouldn't, just, you know. When, but you it's know. funny that, oh, well, may, and maybe she didn't know, maybe she didn't. I, but, like, back to the um, interviews, I really think uh, Sasha was, was really good. I really liked how Trinity, um, when they asked her, um, who would you not want to lip sync against you? It's like, I'll take them all on. Yeah. Trinity came out there and she actually came like she came like a queen, honestly. She was like, No, like I got this. Like I wasn't necessarily on her side. Like she I was, was like, robbed. I thought I she was feel robbed. Exactly. Oh, let's talk about that. So yeah. the, the spinning wheel of drag. Also, I love the format. They sent it. Yeah, they oh, set the up format, like, like that was it was very interesting. And it's also what I I mean, I a long million years ago when they were developing this show, I was on a round table and helped Oh, great. And one of the things I said is, they, whoever wins has to have the talent to carry off the title of being the world's you know, biggest drag queen. So okay. they prove that they have the talent to beat all the other drag queens. Like, uh, especially like, consider, um, uh, well, who's the, the really pretty skinny queen who won? What's her name? Uh, Violet Trotsky. Violet Trotsky. If they had to lip sync together <clears throat> against one another, what do you think would have happened? So I really like this. It's like kind of like a March Madness or a March Dragness. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> um, no, it's, I think it's really great because it really actually shows who's got the talent to sell the goods. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But that being it also, said, yes. Walter. It also it it also proves that if Valentina had made it to the end, she would not have won. She would not have won. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. No. It's true. And she is proving no. to be more of a monster. Yes. Well, maybe if she did Lola Flora's number. Oh my God. Well, okay, but so here's the thing. You you said that you thought Trinity was robbed. Um, after yeah. the first lip sync, after the first lip sync between the two of them, um, I like kind of took a polling of our room. Be like, who do you think got it? And a lot of people were like, oh, Peppermint Slade. And then a lot of people were like, yeah, she had a reveal, but that was kind that, of it. That was yeah, it. Went, yeah. So it's like, I was like, do you give it to the one who gives the fierce reveal? Gown. Yeah. Trinity killed that, I thought. She was like, oh. thinking, doing cartwheels, oh. the most, knew all the words, like. Okay, but here's my thing. You can kind of go either way. It can, it can be like, Trinity was throwing everything but the, the kitchen words, sink into that. that. Yeah, she's throwing everything but the kitchen sink into that. But then there's <laughs> another one who was like being a little more coy and like building up to something. But I wasn't super overwhelmed with the reveal. So Russ, what did you think? Like, did you think it was like, could have gone either way or were you happy that Peppermint got it? I was, I like Trinity's lip sync better. Her reveal was like, oh my God, there's the talk. Um, but, but then Peppermint's reveal was like, shit. No, no, it was, it's a great reveal. That whole, that's a really big thing nowadays, is, you know, ripping off it the was, one wig and having it, a short wig. The whole thing was a great reveal. And it's like, oh no, and it went, it went timeless. I mean, it was perfect. It was seamless. But yeah. it, like I said, she was in this boxy sort of, Trojan blue thing, and she ripped it off and turned into the bride. I, yeah. I, 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 she totally upstaged Trinity's top reveal. Yeah, okay, but I think like a little but before stupid. the reveal, before the reveal though, performance. She, I, I feel like she was just kind of meh. Yeah, so I like, yeah, if she was Alex. giving me more before the reveal, then yeah, I give it to her. But I thought it really could have gone either way. No, I, Alex, I, t I totally get what you mean. Like, I usually in the past we've seen Peppermint's lip syncs. They're a lot more high energy. They're a lot more. They said more she was the lip sync dance. assassin. They yeah. Said she was the lip -sync yeah. Assassin. Her she, she put her gun down and then fired off one shot with the reveal. That was kind yes. of it. So. Yeah. Her second you know about firing one shot, Christopher, don't you? Her <laughs> Not second, just I do. I really do. Go see him in Naked Boy singing. You can see how many shots he fires off. I yeah, also I uh, see my penis. My <laughs> penis. Anyway, um, okay. So that happened, and then we had the um, the two friends that had to lip sync against each other. I like our whole our whole room just kind of like Rah! when that happened. But the thing is, when she had a rose to start. 
I knew she had something up her sleeve. Thank you. <laughs> no, I, Literally. You just so, didn't know. Um, love. <laughs> no, but the thing is, it's like I saw the first glove reveal and I was like, huh, Sauce is wearing a wig. She doesn't normally wear a wig. I was like, oh, she's going to take off the wig and more flowers are going to come out. And, and also, yeah, I, I was there. The, the, there was even on her dress were the, you know, the pedal, sort of the pedal designs uh, down around. The yeah, and I love how they like some of them were stuck to her arm too, because I was like, "That's very Sasha." I I, I dig that. Okay, so but um, yeah, Garrett, the wig reveal was like, we were we were sitting here just screaming like, no! yeah, no, I, it was <laughs> it was the scream heard around the world when that wig no! reveal happened. I fucking <laughs> Um, no, um, Garrett, what did, oh, also, <laughs> my choreographer for Oklahoma, she said, oh, Ringler's gonna take off his cowboy hat and just th flower petals are gonna fall out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, um, Garrett, what did you think of the lip sync by Shay, uh, Shay and Sasha? And, oh, poor Shay, she, anyway, but go. Yeah, I just, I, you know, mm -hmm. Sasha has always been the artsy one to me. I, I felt like he was going to, she, he was gonna win uh, this competition based on brilliance and creativity and art. And I really, really, really loved, loved, loved the conceptualization of it. So yeah. I was happy with the way that it all went down too. Well, that, and he even said that like in his interview, he's like, I never had to lip sync for my life. So now I'm kind of happy that I have this opportunity to show you what I'm actually like really also, good at. I thought that it was brilliant that he had really bright red lipstick with white teeth. And so- it, Oh yeah. He reminds me, he reminded of me last really night of like, an early lip syncer. Yeah, you could well, or exactly very, very like thought was Lipsinka. Yeah, Johnny oh. Epperson. Yeah. yeah, we we thought uh, young Annie Lennox. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 See that? Yeah, oh, that mouth. That. There's that. There's that in it too. It's it's. I think it's the way she does her mouth. Yeah. yeah. Does he? The, does he? The, um, the diva. Uh, yeah. Record. Yeah. Yeah. Does he do Annie Lennox in any of his shows? Oh yeah, he does. Huh? Okay, that's you, awesome. Here's, here's the thing, even though what Sasha did was brilliant, like it was the competition winning lip sync both times. At the same time, what I felt was, did anybody else feel like Shay wasn't performing at her usual level I either? Agree. I completely agree. But I'm wondering if that was because, you know, the, the extremely interesting lip sync was over here. So edit, show more of that. Maybe we didn't see as much as what Shay was she giving. Wasn't, she wasn't her lip sync. Up. Her lip sync was very subdued. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It was yeah. like. Well, it's, it's, it's also it's also clear that <clears throat> when the wig came off, it was over. Yeah. For Shay. So oh, maybe when, when you have the it. audience, when you have the audience standing up and screaming at you. <laughs> You've lost, and you just watch him after that, and he's just going through the motions. He's lost, oh, yeah. and he, oh, and which, today is, was... which let me make one other point, which is very interesting because the reunion show was taped the day after the taping of the finale. Was it? So, yeah. So oh, Shay knew that he wasn't going to win, and that explains why Shay oh, okay. was in a foul mood, was and he was going for it. And I loved her mood. I loved her mood that day. Oh gosh, she was just cause round. I didn't think pause the though. Like I wasn't on here, but my favorite thing was the reunion show was shut up, Farah. Shut up, Farrah. <laughs> while while holding the Miss Congeniality. Prize. Yeah, I know. Is that <laughs> well, <laughs> another, just another reason why it probably shouldn't have been Valentina? Uh, yeah. so, but do you, um, do you no, guys uh, did anyone else clock um Shay's nails? Because like when she did this, yeah. I was like, oh, those nails are fierce. And I was like, no, she was wearing a glove. Look again. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's a it's an it's a, a elbow length glove that she had on that had, huh. uh, that had nails on them. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I've seen this before. Like yeah. Catwoman. No, I, I I felt though that Shay even even before like the reveals Sasha's reveals, Shay was just doing a real pedestrian. Yeah. Whitney Houston. Yeah. Like I said, it's subdued. Like you can see yeah. and. Uh, a weekly, a weekly lip sync contest in any town USA that has drag queens. Oh, not to use Shay's own words against her, but I could take five pennies and throw them and see <laughs> five other queens lip sync that a little better than she did. Yeah. Um, way, did anybody earlier in the show catch when Black China was giving the message to Shay and catch Nina Benina Brown? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, of course they did that. <laughs> Nina was sitting in the audience like a bitter, bitter pill. That was her face um, moment right there. That like, was just smile. Like, uh, I, 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 you guys have watched those, uh, the, 
the queen queen to queen conversations they're Which very was? fun they're from the the world of wonder you know put them out you know oh, okay and, and the one that i one that i love it's aja and nina benina talking together oh and they they Hey, hang out, nothing to lose. They say everything. It's hysterically funny. Oh my god! And then the I other one is that. James Mansfield and Valentina together. Okay. And I mean, like, can you, can like, you link this in the comments be below? Because I, I want everyone to see these. Like, you need to link this in the comments below because I want everybody to see these. Okay, it's just very funny because it's it's very very telling. All right. Well, okay. So, but that's the thing is like Nina, Nina was sitting there simmering and being a little like, Mur, like she always is. And meanwhile, they have the Bob the Drag Queen moment. It's like, it's time for you to hand over the, the crown. I'd love to keep on, please. Uh, and then they flash to Valentina. And of course she's laughing because and she's like, she was like, oh, was that, that was the best line of the night? Yeah. By the way, <laughs> by the way, I think, we, you know, the, the whole thing about like, okay, stop, stop. Uh, you know, let's, we have to stop this. Are you going to take that off? You know, all of that. Did we kind of start that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, that you know, gag after Valentina. That. <laughs> Making that a bit. Making that a I bit. think we sort of started that. I don't know. <laughs> we, we're a creative force here at the morning after. I want to so. ask everybody. Watching everything we do. I want to ask everybody, do you think that picking... The, who you went up against. Do you think the order of who went and how they were paired off would have affected the final outcome or was Sasha just so good? Well, here's the other thing is that like with Trinity picking the person to go against, she also picked the other two people to go against each other. Yes. So was there that factored in her Did mind Did that as affect well? the outcome or was Sasha's lip sync I think Sasha would have slayed no matter what, honestly. Yeah. With, with, with what she had in her costuming and, oh, also did you notice in the final lip sync with Peppermint and Sasha, they cut right to the second verse of It's Not yeah. Right, But It's Okay, which means she did the first verse with her mask on, I think. Oh. No, the, no, the songs were cut. They, they were edited. They were down they to two and a half minutes. Yeah, they're, minutes. They're, always, they're always edited. Yeah. yeah. They're always edited, but do they do the whole song? No, no. Really? Oh. They should do the whole fucking song and let people They should do the whole fucking song, but they, they don't. It's TV. I think it's a it reality TV show, honey. I think if Sasha had done a verse with the mask on, it would have been the death knell for her. Well, that's what oh, I, no, I like. If she did a verse, I would have been like, and then she took it off. I, I thought that would be cute. No, I, I think she, if, if she'd have done that, I think it, it would have been over for her. Well, that, that's why she pulled it off. For the first verse, I think that's what what allowed it to happen. Yeah, yeah. And then the oh, shell yeah, of her head coming off was just that was no. Yeah, she looks like an alien. But the thing is, oh, right when she she at one point she reached behind her neck, and I thought she was gonna do like another like I drop she was gonna like, like, this, feel, right? like it all drops, yeah. and it's just like uh, another dress underneath. Like mm, I wanted it. Not mad it didn't happen, but I was like, yeah. Could have seen it happening though. Yeah, I that like, look also. That look was like um, Terry Mugler meets Lady Gaga. Yeah, it was. It was, it was Gaga. When, when it was, Gaga when Gaga did the Grammys and she <laughs> had the face hugger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, brilliant looks by her. Um, and then Peppermint's last lip sync was, eh, like mm. she had glitter at one point, but uh, yeah, um, <laughs> it was subdued. It was incredibly subdued. I don't know what was going on with well, the other thing. The other thing yeah, is, with, with, with Peppermint, she had so much shit around her face, so many feathers and things, that it sort of got in the way of watching her actually lip sync. Right. Yeah. And I was surprised also, there wasn't another it, reveal. Again, yeah. it was very pedestrian to me. A very pedestrian <laughs> performance. And I, uh, I also, I had a really cruel thought, because she kept doing that sort of, where she would yeah. shake. Yeah. And I thought, oh, she's imitating Whitney's last moments in the bathtub. <laughs> Too soon. Good night, everybody. Um, <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Sorry. He's the taller farmer then. Happy birthday! Oh, no, Drew's back. There she How is. We have a finale without Drew. <laughs> Can I have a finale show without hey, Drew? Drew, what did you think of, of the final lip sync between Peppermint and Sasha? 
Well, Alex, it was so, so magical to hear two drag queens performing a number by my favorite chantreuse, Whitney Houston. Yes. I loved hearing so emotional, and I loved hearing it's not right, but it's okay. Whitney and I, <laughs> Whitney and I have such a blessed history. After coming from the pharmacist, she had me hold her receipt, which is why she could never find them. <laughs> Now, isn't um, it's not right, but it's okay. The motto for your um, vineyard? Yes, Alex. It is. <laughs> with, with supplying all of the beverages now backstage next to the Hamburger Mary statue. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so proud. What are we doing here? This is nuts. <laughs> uh, well, thank oh, you, Drew. Thank God. you for stopping in, Shante. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> I can't wait to All see right, you yeah. in well, season I, um, I, 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 I was really happy Sasha won. Um, and I think we have some footage. Uh, Garrett, um, you had some footage with Sasha, didn't you? Yeah, when I was in DragCon in LA, I had a chance to meet up with Sasha on the red carpet. And remind you, it was very early on in the season, so we didn't know a lot about, about her or her story. So yeah, check it out. Here we go in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, everyone, we're here in Los Angeles at RuPaul's DragCon, and we're here on the red carpet with Sasha Blore. Hi, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> I just wanted to um, give everyone at home a shout out because this one right here is still on the show. And <laughs> as far as. Right now. <laughs> right in now. This right now. <laughs> and um, so now, yes. how's everything been since the show? And still getting wild. more crazy for you, huh? <laughs> Absolutely wild. Yeah, my house is just a mess of costumes and sequins and glitter now. Cool. And I love it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us and um, say bye to everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're back, and oh, um, Mark Mom Finley has a visitor. Um, who's that behind you? It's one of the bunny boys. Oh, one of the bunny. Oh, Yay! the same bunny boy. Mr. Boy. You made our episode very popular on um, Adam for Adam. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's doing now. <laughs> Just Can you use Adam for Adam? What? That hustle is real. Um, okay, but you guys, I had the best time reviewing RuPaul with you. I had the best time watching this season. Um, thank you so much for joining me, y'all. Um, come out and see um, Oklahoma if you're in the Connecticut area. Anybody else have anything to plug? Um, Chris Ranthi Henry? Yes, I am going to be in the off-Broadway production of Naked Boy Singing starting July 8th every Saturdays at 6 p.m. at the Kirk Theater at Theater Road. That is on 42nd Street and 9th Avenue. So uh, come and see my penis. It'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, and penis! Come see it sing. <laughs> and Mama, you're, you're just all priding all the time this weekend, aren't I'm you? I'm all priding all the time this weekend. Um, we had a, another encore performance of my show, Somebody Get Me a Chainsaw. Last yeah. night we have one again on, um, we have again another one on next Friday, and we just got notification that we have dates uh, in the fall that we're going to be doing. So he's going to be taking a chainsaw everywhere. It's be a lot of <laughs> she's fun. Chainsawing everybody. She's chainsawing America. And I have to tell you guys, I hate RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> my bunny boy is the only reason that I ever watched it because it was forced upon me, heaved uh -huh. upon me, and 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 I and, and, and I loved every minute of it this season, and Yay. it's because that I got to see you guys every next morning after. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alex, to welcome me to your bed. I know I'll never get there. You While never know. I take my picture. I'm prettier a person. <laughs> Russ, what the hell are you doing getting me in the, up in Seattle so early in the morning? Barbieri, it's all your fault. And Christopher, Christopher? Yeah? You're so special. All your farm. I, so I took that test fault. when I was seven. I failed. <laughs> and Garrett, I just love you. Yeah. I'm just going to bend you over and make you a hand puppet the next time I see you. <laughs> Not a hand puppet. Um, but no, I love you guys were all fantastic panelists. Walter, you joined us mid road, but I, I loved all of your opinions and all of your um all of your chutzpah in your opinion. And your chandelier. And, and the chandelier. chandelier. Not mine. <laughs> I I know it's not yours, but I love it. Well, I don't know why anyone gave you shit about it. Yeah. 
I like uh, this. Can I plug something? Yes, please. Yeah, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Ooh. Walter Kurtz, K-U-R-T-Z, photography. So go follow me. And there are some pretty pictures on that Instagram. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think I've been on it once or twice. You are on <laughs> yeah. And Russ, uh, from Q Life Magazine, thank you for hosting this and producing this. You're amazing. Uh, you guys have just been, this has been a, an amazing journey from, uh, from, from the, 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 the midnight concept that Alex and I had months ago to reality in less than three weeks after that. Uh, it's just been an amazing journey. Thank you guys so much for participating in this. Um, it's, it's been an incredible season and we have some ideas for what we're going to be doing next. Um, we'll tear apart any show. Just call us up. It'll be tough. <laughs> we're bitches. <laughs> so everyone, um, if you're not already, follow Q Life Magazine on Facebook. Um, go to their website, uh, qlifemagazine.com to find out what our next adventure is going to be and when you can see us again. Can I, meantime, can I plug I'll a little something myself? Yes, and I was going to say, in the meantime, all of our episodes are already online, so if you missed one, yep. go and check it out again. Barbieri. Uh, but yeah, uh, um, I'm on Twitter uh, at uh, QLife Food Writer. So if anyone uh, wants to uh, follow me on QLife on, uh, on Twitter, that's where to go. QLife Food Writer. QLife Food Writer. Get and I also got, I got a little distracted <laughs> because um, there's, there's, there's an a push. <laughs> the money is loose. God, I the feel bottom. like a salad, don't you? Way <laughs> to steal my thunder, ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would like to plug here in Las Vegas. I am planning the Black and White Party. It is the 31st uh, annual Black and White Party to benefit people living with HIV and AIDS. It's an over-the-top Studio 54, so bring out your peppermint club kit at Costumes. It's at the Hard Rock on August 19th. And I'm excited for it. It's my favorite party of the year, and now I get to plan it. Check with your pharmacist before you come. Yeah. Visit your pharmacist before you go to the party. <laughs> or visit Drew's. Drew's is probably better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a Rite Aid card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids. I can't think of a better ending than that. Rite Aid card. <laughs> um, so... Thank you so much. Love you all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. All right. Bye. Everyone say bye. 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 Everyone, bye. 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 <laughs>